So as we spoke about, Ilhan Omar is under bipartisan attack in Congress. Um, and I believe I just read a story that said that they're thinking about uh, delaying the vote on that resolution that would condemn Ilhan. Um, but AOC has taken this really disappointing stance that really, really has broke, you know, broken me down. But she's taken the stance of, oh, you know, I hear, I understand the people who have felt, you know, hurt by the comments of Ilhan Omar and also saying, and then, you know, when there was that crazy picture that was posted at the West Virginia GOP where it was like, it has a picture of 9-11 saying never forget and then Ilhan Omar saying, I am proof that you've forgotten, insinuating that there's some link between the two, that she's some sort of a terrorist or some danger, which is unbelievable, it's insane, um, that's inciting violence as well. But what you're looking at is what she does she goes, oh, you know, I wish the people who were standing up to anti-Semitism the other day were going after Islamophobia here. So what she's doing is, in her statements, number one, she's implying that Ilhan Omar is guilty of anti-Semitism, which she's not. And then she's also not coming out in defense of Ilhan. What she should be doing right now is saying, Ilhan Omar did not say anything anti-Semitic. Uh, we need to... And by the way, APAC just said, one of their lobbyists said... There are three people who I don't see being in place in seven years because they're going to fight against them. So you, they're proving your point. They're proving your point, and you are defend. You are in a way defending them, and you are cowering away. And I hate that, man, because she hasn't came out in her defense. She's just shooting down the dumbest arguments being made by people in opposition to Ilhan. So what do I mean by that? There was. Democrat Juan Vargas, who said, uh, questioning the U.S. support of Israel is unacceptable. Dumbest statement ever made. Anybody can debunk that on the fly. It's ridiculous, right? And so she does that. That's not defending Ilhan. That's just shooting down the dumbest arguments that are being made. Anyone with two brain cells to rub together can do that. A defense of Ilhan is coming out firmly saying Ilhan Omar did not say anything anti-Semitic. She has proper critiques and criticisms of AIPAC and their influence in Congress, and it's being proven by AIPAC. That would be a real defense of Ilhan Omar. She has refused to do that. She also uh, had succumbed and was overtaken by people who were levying bullshit charges of anti-Semitism against Jeremy Corbyn, and she fell for that nonsense as well, saying, oh, you know, I've heard from progressives. Anyway, so let me read you guys what... Um, what she said, she sent out a tweet saying, the way we reject the zero-sum idea that some co communities win at the cost of others is by using opportunities to address issues intersectionally to highlight that anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and all bigotry serve the same ends and that we prevent division by championing one another. And then someone responded saying, she wasn't being anti-Semitic, dude. This isn't going to work. And then she responds saying, Literally nowhere did I say that. If you're not going to read and listen to what I've been saying all day, then misinterpret and jump to a wrong conclusion about it, then I don't know what to tell you. You're not going to falsely pit me against her or anyone else for that matter. So first of all, I'd like to say, that's not the conversation we should even be having. The conversation should not be, and I fucking hate that this is the conversation we're having, the fact that she even tweeted that out, that you're not going to falsely pit me against her. This isn't even the conversation we should be having. We should all know firmly that you stand behind her because that's why the fucking people voted for you and that's why we support you. That's why we donated to you. That's why we, you know, supported you. The fact that that's even a question is unbelievably frustrating. You should have, we should all know that you're in support of her. There shouldn't be a conversation as to whether or not you're being falsely pitted against her because that would be the dumbest statement ever if you were to actually have defended her. So that, that was really ridiculous too. And then someone responds saying, I think people are finding it quite confusing because you clearly don't feel confident saying she wasn't being anti-Semitic. I get finding it difficult to pass judgment on that, but the implication ends up being that you think she was. Remember when people called you anti-Semitic for accurately describing a military occupation as an occupation? Should we interpret those allegations as a sincere expression of hurt? And she responds saying, Remember when all the left did was finger wag and make cynical assumptions instead of showing up despite an imperfect moment? When the main defense is rude in telling others how to feel, especially when you're not from that community, it's not solid ground. I ask other cues. So this is the most ridiculous response I've ever heard in my entire life. By the way, someone can explain that. I don't even get the first part of that tweet. 
doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it at all. I can't comprehend or compute what she's trying to say. Doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. The second part of it is if someone says that they are, they're being, you know, they're hurt, but what you said is either correct or it is in no way hurtful, then you know that they are um, either just wrong or they're bullshitting. And that's the issue here. I don't know what Jews she's been talking to because there are a ton of them on Twitter who have came out in support of Ilhan Omar. A, a shit ton of Jewish people have came out in support of Ilhan Omar saying she's not anti-Semitic and this is what's frustrating. Those people are fighting to defend her more than she is to defend her friend who was elected into Congress with her who's supposed to be her, you know, her number two. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, it's really, it's tough for me to say, but um, Ilhan Omar has surpassed AOC in my in my mind because what AOC has shown me is she's going to politic when it's not necessary. And politicking is permissible in certain times. So I'll give you an example of that. When Ilhan Omar gave that, you know, fake apology, that was entirely understandable because she was facing the possibility of being removed from the Foreign Affairs Committee and she gave this apology, which she didn't concede any ground on because it's not really an apology if you read the fucking thing. But what she did was is she was able to not compromise her position while also keeping her spot on the Foreign Affairs Committee. That makes sense. This doesn't make any sense. In fact, you're starting to get into some really like teetering logic trash here that doesn't make any sense. But Ilhan Omar has surpassed you, man. I'm really disappointed. This is a stain on your legacy, by the way. Because people who previously were fully supporters of you. The, Ilhan Omar is fighting the hardest fight that there is right now. Don't get it twisted. The hardest fight that there is right now is what Ilhan is fighting. And AOC has been silent. And Bernie needs to come out and support her too. But AOC is in the house. She's supposed to be her best bud. And that's what makes this all the more unbelievable.